Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm painting this stormy sea with waves crashing over New Haven Lighthouse on the southeast coast of England. It's a depiction, an imaginary depiction of um, Storm Kieran that's been recently lashing the UK. I'm using this photograph that I found on Pixabay of New Haven Lighthouse, but I'm imagining the storm. I'm imagining a higher tide and I'm going to paint it wet in wet. I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's taped to my board and my board's at an angle of about 20 degrees. I'll be painting wet in wet, um, starting with a large wash brush and using various brushes as I continue to paint the storm with um, Payne's Grey, Indigo, Ultramarine Blue, Raw Umber and Burnt Sienna. I'll be using the negative painting method and painting around the wave to start with.
so that's most of the wash mapped out to start with wet in wet um, I just need to leave this to dry completely and then come back in and paint in a few more details just to bring the painting together I'm happy with how it's dried. I just need to add some details to the lighthouse, the base of the lighthouse and to the water in places just to bring the painting together. I'm softening back a few edges here and there by using a short bristled um, brush 
that I call my scrubber brush and I've got clean water on it so I scrub at the hard edge and then dab it with a tissue and that lifts off a bit of the paint just enough to give me a slightly softer edge. Saunders Waterford paper isn't the best for lifting but I think it's, it's just about okay. And now for the red base of the lighthouse which is this lovely distinctive pop of colour for New Haven Lighthouse. I think that works really nicely. Now the detail here, I'm going in onto the dry lighthouse with a fine liner. It's a waterproof fine liner and this just helps me to get nice fine lines. If you trust yourself with a detail brush, then of course do this with Payne's Grey mixed with a little bit of um, burnt umber and ultramarine to make a nice dark almost black color but I'm just doing the outline as I say with the fine liner because it just keeps it nice and quick and fairly accurate. And it keeps it nice and simple too. I would suggest um, fine liners for these kinds of details like ships riggings and things like that especially for beginners um, who are sort of less confident sometimes with using brushes for these kinds of fiddly jobs. Now to add a stronger shadow on top of the pale shadow so just a slightly darker value of this sort of grey down one side of the lighthouse uh, both the body of the lighthouse and the cap That just helps to give it sort of more of a more shape and form. And now to add some white gouache to the painting, um, I've covered or protected the sea and the sky with um, just a piece of paper and I've mixed up an inky consistency, <coughs> excuse me, quite a thick consistency of white gouache and using my fan brush, I'm spattering it around the wave and into the water um, here and there and then I can go into that with the fan brush and just um, make those little dots of spatter a little bit more straggly, a little bit more uneven and can sort of begin to get them to look like the sort of ragged spray of water around the edge of that breaking wave. So that brighter white is now working against the shadows in various parts of the painting um, just to add a lot more sort of movement and life to the water. And then using the uneven shape of the fan brush to sweep in some paler white sea foam areas and bring a bit of variety, shape and form to that churning sea. So that's my interpretation of heavy seas and Storm Kieran and crashing waves over New Haven Lighthouse. I really enjoyed painting it and I hope you enjoyed watching that. 
If you liked that, please um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's free to do. Um, and if you click on the bell icon, then you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And if you'd like to support the channel, then please pop over to the link to Patreon, either myself or Morgana, and we'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy painting. Bye.